I saw the post, somebody saying like they found a dog and I'm like, here we go again. After a routine dog walk Sunday morning, a sad discovery. It's just nonsensical. Stephanie Dagenhart saw a post in the Patterson Park neighbors Facebook group that a dog was left tied to a bench at the playground. She immediately went out to help and found her without any tags. But she was fine. She was super friendly, super sweet. Like, let me like pet her face and everything. Stephanie took her to Barks, where she named her after the late designer Kate Spade, a rescue dog mom herself. This is Princeton. She says it's extremely frustrating to see. You never know who's going to pick up the other end of that leash. You know? Not once, but twice. For this to happen like twice in like a six month period is totally ridiculous. In January, she found a dog tied to a tree in the park and called animal control to have him taken to a shelter. It was like 17 degrees out and there was like a, you know, the whole neighborhood was like in arms, like just angry and, you know, pissed off about what was going on and why somebody would think that that was like an option. Now she wants to educate people on how to find a new home for a dog if necessary, letting people know that the park is not an acceptable place. You know, you can call 311 to get them to pick up your dog if you want your dog rehomed. Barks, as we know, is an open intake facility. They will not deny you for any reason if you need to, to give up your dog. Duke, the dog rescued in January, was adopted. And Stephanie knows Kate will have a happy ending, too. When the woman that did the intake came to, like, take her, she jumped up onto, like, my lap. And I was like, oh, God, like, she's going to make somebody really happy. Kate is a two-year-old mixed breed and is on a 72-hour stray hold at Barks before she can be adopted out. Now, Stephanie wants to start a charity walk to raise money for Barks, who took in both of the dogs.